harnessing the laws of nature related to quantum mechanics, understanding them, controlling them, and develop technologies and new applications. This is what is behind the Institute of Quantum Computing. We first started in 2002 with a few rooms in the physics and the math building. But then suddenly, as the Institute grew, we needed something which was better, more technical for the different types of experiments we would do, and also to re-bring the different people of the university together. It has grown to about 20 faculties, 40 postdocs, a little bit more than 100 students, 25, 30 staff, 200 researchers and staff that are really pushing the limit of quantum science. Quantum mechanics is a theory originally developed to describe atoms and molecules and very small things like that. And there are certain aspects of the way it says atoms and molecules behave that are kind of weird from, uh, from our macroscopic, our big point of view. You might be able, at least theoretically, to use this weirdness to make a new class of computers that's really kind of that's really exponentially more powerful uh, than the, the computers that exist today. So our superconducting circuits uh, that we work with, we operate them at very, very low temperatures. So typically we work at uh, 20 millikelvin, which means 20 thousandths of a degree above absolute zero. At the very low temperatures, uh, we can actually make these or engineer these uh, circuits so that they behave quantum mechanically. I think there's also been a lot of interest that's developed in the last, say, five years around what's called quantum simulation. So using quantum computers to simulate a quantum system, say, like molecules. So say they could be used for drug design, for finding new molecules for drugs, or for designing new materials in a kind of calculated way. Quantum material to refer to the material that can be used for either quantum information or can be used to tackle certain quantum mechanical problems. What we aim to do here is to combine these materials with different properties and take the advantage of all of them, put them together, and create a device that is capable to manipulate the information in a quantum mechanical way. Our system has seven modules. All of these modules are connected through an ultra-high vacuum transfer line. So the materials prepared in one chamber can be transferred to the next chamber without any contamination. This way we get the best material and the best interface. The understanding of quantum material is not only important for developing machine quantum computer itself, it also advances our understanding of the technology itself. Trying to develop quantum computers, there's all kinds of different uh, techniques, essentially using all the magic of uh, quantum systems, and quantum cryptography is a spin-off of this, where you can use um, the same sort of weird quantum uh, properties to actually establish a secure key between uh, two different parties. We have more or less the technology to start commercialization. In fact, there are already companies selling devices along these lines. And what my research here in particular is working with is trying to prove whether these devices that people are claiming or selling, whether they're research groups or companies, uh, actually are as secure as their proofs claim. Quantum cryptography is very important in uh, even in present day at the moment, uh, because it is a commercial technology, it's allowing people already to start using this physical security layer to things that they want to share securely between different parties. Quantum communication, which is about uh, exchanging quantum signals between individual communication partners, um, when it's done at the moment, it's limited in distance to about 100 kilometers by mostly optical fiber or uh, also free space links on the ground. And of course, global distances are way larger, right? We are talking thousands of kilometers. We, we know that with today's technology, so today's satellite technology, it's possible to get a quantum signal from ground to a satellite in space and uh, exchange a key over, over, um, the, over that distance. Uh, by, and then using the information that, is, that was generated on the satellite, you can effectively connect any two sites on the ground, so effectively global. We've made a lot of progress on our, on our satellite system and concept, so we've done performance analysis and we're building hardware in the lab right now. We have shown the technical feasibility. We are now going to build a prototype which is suitable for space and we can then be ready to take it to an actual space hardware. 
When IQC started in 2002 in Waterloo, we, the focus was to build an institute focused on the quantum science. We've established a reputation around the world of doing this incredibly well. The next step is to turn that science into technology, to develop the application and the prototypes and the uh, technology that comes out of the quantum science. So this is the part where we will focus in the next 10 years.